Can you recognize me under all this? It's Pastor Terry. And I'm wearing all sorts of protective things. Now, we had a story tonight that had some scary parts in it. We talked about Miriam saving her brother Moses by putting him in a basket and floating him down the river. It's really God who saved everyone in the story, though, wasn't it? But we do need some kind of protection in the world. Now, this says a face shield. I wear this to protect me from other people's germs. And I have a wonderful mask on tonight that has our theme from Vacation Bible School on it, Take Heart. Some of you have it on your t-shirt. I wear a mask, and it's not very comfortable. Nobody likes wearing a mask because it's kind of hot and it makes my glasses fog up. But I wear this, and I wear gloves sometimes to protect other people from my germs. Now, there are all kinds of ways to protect people and all kinds of things you can put on. We're going to talk about some tonight, and I hope that you have your shield ready from your Vacation Bible School box because we're going to read a scripture passage from Ephesians now that talks about a different kind of armor, the kind of armor that God gives us, not to protect our bodies, to protect everything inside, our souls and our hearts and our feelings. I'm going to read that to you right now. Put on all the armor that God gives you so that you will be able to stand up against the devil's evil tricks. So stand ready with truth as a belt tied around your waist with righteousness as your breastplate, and as your shoes, the readiness to announce the good news of peace, and at all times carry faith as a shield, for with it you will be able to put out all the burning arrows shot by the evil one, and accept salvation as a helmet, and the word of God as the sword which the Spirit gives you. That comes from Paul's letter to the Ephesian church from the sixth chapter. Now, what do you think it means to have a shield? Let's start with the shield. A shield is something that protects you. But in this story that we read from Paul, it's not a shield to protect you from an arrow that's real or a sword or anything like that, or even somebody throwing rocks at you. But the sword, the shield that we have tonight is called faith. Faith is believing in God, even when it's hard to sometimes, when you can't see God. We can't see Jesus anymore because he's in heaven with God but we know that he's with us, and that belief is called faith. Faith can protect us from all kinds of things. Fear, hopelessness, revenge. That's the need to get back at somebody who hurts you. Anger, doubt, and hatred. Those are the things that can really hurt our insides, can't they? But faith protects us from all those things. And tonight, we're going to take one symbol from the armor of God to use for tonight's story. And that's going to be the helmet called salvation. Do you see all the different helmets there? Helmets protect our heads. And I bet some of you, I hope you wear a helmet when you ride a bike. And I hope none of you have jumped out of an airplane yet. Maybe you'll do that one day. But some of you might play football already. Or maybe you've ridden on a motorcycle with your friends or your parents. But this protects our head. And tonight, I'm going to get you to get out of your packet the symbol that we've chosen for the helmet of salvation, and that's the symbol of the basket. The basket represents salvation because God saved Moses from drowning in the river because his mother was smart enough to put that tar on the basket for him and turn his little basket into a boat so it wouldn't sink. She was very brave to do that because she trusted in God's salvation. Salvation is the grace of God that forgives all our sins. Everything we've ever done wrong, God can forgive. And he promises us new life and eternal life in the world to come. That's why tonight's symbol is the basket for the helmet of salvation. Now, look at this. That's pretty silly, isn't it? If I have a basket on my head, it's not going to protect me from anything like somebody throwing a rock at me or anything that might hit me on the head. Even a bird going over might, you know, have a little accident. This might protect me from that, but not from much else. But I promise you that the knowing that God loves you, knowing that God can forgive everything you've ever done wrong or thought wrong or felt wrong if you're angry and you can't get over it, no matter what happens, God can forgive you. That's the promise that's called salvation, and that can protect you from all kinds of problems in the world. So now put your 
basket on your shield. You can put it anywhere you'd like. And we're going to add every night, we're going to add another symbol from the story we read tonight. I hope you like the story of Miriam and Moses. It's one of my favorites.